Hello food lovers, it is going to be a spicy day today. We are going to make a very tasty harissa. This is not going to be a traditional recipe because I'm going to do a blend of chilies from different countries. So this is not just about heat, chilies have beautiful flavors too. So let's have a look at our ingredients. I got three chilies from Mexico. The first chili I'm going to use is Anaheim chili or also called the New Mexico chili. We're also going to use the Cascabel chili. So these chilies are quite mild but they have a beautiful flavor. Another chili from Mexico, Child de Arbo. This is going to give us a little bit more heat. These are medium hot. And then we get to a chili from Sichuan. Sichuan chili, but they have such an amazing flavor. We're also going to use two Italian chilies. Diapirocio Diamante, a famous Calabrese chili. And we got Perla Rosso di Calabria, which is also a Calabrese chili, of course. And we're going to give our harissa a beautiful flavor with these sun-dried tomatoes in oil. Of course, we're going to use the oil as well. We got one teaspoon of caraway seed, half a teaspoon of cumin, and we got some garlic powder. And I forgot to tell you that we also need one teaspoon of salt. And you also may need some olive oil at the end. And so the first thing to do is we're going to seed all the chilies. Here we go. Now there are two different ways to prepare our chilies. We can soak them in water, but then again the chilies are going to lose some flavors in the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in my steamer and I'm going to steam them for uh, 15 to 20 minutes maybe. And that's going to rehydrate the chilies without losing the flavors. In the meantime, we're going to ground the caraway and the cumin. This goes very quickly. Here you go. And here we are, my dear friends. And we got the cascabel chili that needs more time to rehydrate. I think we're going to leave this uh, up for another 10 minutes, my friends. And again, we're 10 minutes later. So we're going to kill the heat and we're going to let them cool down a little bit. Lucky me today, I'm not going to torture myself with the mortar and pestle. We're going to make it easy with our food processor. We're going to add our chilies in there. We got our sun dried tomatoes. We're also going to add the garlic powder, the caraway and the cumin and a teaspoon of salt. And now we're going to add the oil of the sun-dried tomatoes. Now as you can see, it's still very thick. So we're going to continue with olive oil. And you continue pouring in the oil slowly until you get the right consistency. So this took about 15 uh, minutes. And now it's time to take it to the test. We're going to toast some slices of bread. I'm going to add some sardines on there as well. So here we go. Mm. That is just beautiful. It's got a nice heat and it. it's got so much flavor. Guys, bon appetit. I hope you enjoyed the video and it was useful for you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit that bell. It's a great motivation for me. And as this story ends, my dear friends, all that's left to say. Bon appétit and see you back soon.